Hey everyone, I wanted to answer a bit of viewer feedback uh, that I know many folks have been wondering as they get started with this and aren't necessarily familiar with SQL Server reporting services, but are familiar with Power BI and have never used paginated reports before. The question was, hey, can, we go, can I use training or material that's available for SQL Server reporting services to help me learn about how to create paginated reports and Power BI Report Builder and publish them to the Power BI service? The question is yes, but it's important to keep in mind exactly what material uh, you would be looking at in the context of this question. So if you're looking for something around SQL Server Report Builder or the actual design layout a report, uh, how you work with data elements, expressions, things like that, absolutely. The whole point of paginated reports in the Power BI service is that you're using something that is familiar to what you've been doing on-prem. We use the RDL language just like we do in SSRS so those authors can create and move their reports to the Power BI platform accordingly. If you're talking about the server side itself, you know, uh, email subscription, how email subscriptions work on-prem, how the folder structure works, how the security works, those wouldn't really translate. But for example, if I just did a quick search for SQL Server reporting services, you see here, create a basic table report. You absolutely could use this same tutorial in the context of Power BI Report Builder, but there's important, again, there's some subtle differences here. For example, creating a report server project. You wouldn't be using a report server project in the context of Report Builder. There isn't no concept of a project file because this is actually being done in SQL Server Data Tools for Visual Studio. But in terms of specifying the connection information or defining the data set and adding a table, it's gonna be essentially the same steps that you walk, saw me walk through in an earlier video. So there is a lot of content out there already around SQL Server Reporting Services, clearly. Uh, it's been in the market for several years. So if you look for one of my favorite authors, Mr. Paul Turley, oops, uh, you see here that Paul's SQL Server BI blog uh, this has been around for quite some time and has a number of items and talks about his books and other things that are very much related to this type of topic area. So if you've perhaps heard me talk about the SQL Server um, reporting services books that he's done in the past, including one of my favorites, the Reporting Services Recipes book. The reason why I like this one so much, and again, it's out of print, but there's a number of copies available online used, uh, is that it is very specifically focused on the report creation process. It spends almost all of the book focused on, hey, here's different tips and tricks and types of reports that you would be creating using, at the time, SQL Server Reporting Services, Data Tools, or Report Builder, but now absolutely can apply to what you're doing in Paginated Reports and Power BI Report Builder. So just to wrap up, the answer to the question is absolutely yes, you can use this content, but make sure you're focused on the report design creation pieces that are there for reporting services and not the server product itself as you get started with your paginated reports journey with Power BI. Thank you very much.